All right, into night four we go. Things are about to get serious, I reckon. Ah, hoppers. Hoppers and archers. Okay, let's see. So you... This pillar remains, like, the bane of my existence. The fact that there were two guys back here that I couldn't see was, uh... Was something else. And then if I can get rid of you, that's all good. The rest won't be a problem. Now, someone's going to have to come up and do this, which means I think it's you who are going to have to do that. So let's see. Which one are you? You're, you're a ranged character, right? You have decent range. So we have to be... I have to be a little careful about how I approach. So if you move to there... I think we might be putting ourselves at risk here, so I'm gonna defend up. Now over here, we're definitely we definitely have a wide a wide spread here. Another another dude hidden behind. And actually, I don't I don't want to go that way. I think I want to. Do I not? What is the... This is 43% momentum. This is 48. Okay, so they're they're pretty comparable. If we get flexibility on, on you, which we do, it'll be nice to switch between those. Let's see. Um, I think we just get this guy and then and then retreat. I think that's all we can do. And then over here, you look like, yeah, you're mirror shield. I was like, I know, I'd recognize that anywhere. Uh, so I could, I can snare, but it's like, what am I getting out of snaring? Uh, I think the better play is we get rid of you. Now, is there a guy back here? No. So then, is this a kill? Wait, why? Oh, are you in the mist? You son of a gun. All right. Grumble. Okay, we're not going to be able to do much then. Uh, okay, and then we, we're hoping we don't take, like, an insane amount of damage on uh, on Antonin, and Antonin can get in uh, in range. That's worrisome. Archers are, uh, archers are pesky. Okay, so if I move one this way, I lose the ability to get access to that. I was worried that was going to happen. Well, we just got to do it. It's got to get done. That is part of the, uh, part of the experience of playing on this map. Oh, we got a Misty Dodger. I see. Okay. Well, we're going to have to do just a bit of retreating, I think. This is going to be a little spicy, though. Excuse me? Oh, the mist is covering him up. That's, uh, that's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to deal with. Yeah, seriously, Joe Kewa. It's, uh... It come back. It comes back to haunt you pretty hard. Uh, resistance. All right, let's just do this. This is this is gonna be a tough wave for us, I reckon. Uh, Misty plus mirror shield over there. I wanted to get like the big isolated hit in. Uh, and now I'm not going to be able to. So let's see. Let's get rid of, let's get rid of these, just because we're here and we don't have any other actions we can do. That's all we've got going on. Ah, uh, let's see. So that's a great, 
That's a great slow him down type of thing. And then I'm kind of intentionally slow rolling taking care of this guy in hopes that these two are going to separate after this turn. Because we're going to have a hard time otherwise. Yeah, the movement bug is still, uh, still very much alive and kicking. <laughs> Uh, F key. The F key allows you to rotate. So, look, do I have someone else who has an AoE that I can demonstrate with? Uh, no. I'll, I'll give it a quick demo next turn, though. Let's see, I can get... I eh, might as well come over here and just drop the hammer. It only works on the diagonal biases, though. Uh, just as a as a caveat so it when I select a skill well I can't do it now I'll show you once I get there but you have to uh, you have to pick a skill that you can actually uh, actually rotate ooh that was a bad we're taking some bad hits I gotta be I gotta be a little careful here So yeah, so when when I grab a skill like Suppressive Fire, you see the two uh, lines. There's one that's along here and one that's along here. You can only rotate on that line and then you use the F key to rotate. But like, for instance, you can't do it here. It would be amazing if you could, uh, but sadly, not, uh, not in the cards. I'm going to get rid of that, retreat a bit more, and I'm just going to try and one-shot this guy with, uh, with that. I... I knew there was a chance we were taking damage, but I didn't see uh, I didn't see another way out. No, I think we're safe here, and then I'm gonna keep these locked in place until I can come up with a better uh, a better plan. It's a it's a very useful one uh, to be sure, uh, Doctor Death. But it, it is it is not super uh, super communicated in the UI. So I think it is. Uh, it's just that's just the way it goes sometimes. That the game the game is not always the best at tutorializing uh, things. Guess we'll grab that. That side over there is a little problematic. Let's see how much you can do. Coming in from this side. Okay, you're dead. That one we just did for we just did for fun. <laughs> Sometimes you just you just have to uh, appreciate a good death ray. Yes, indeed, I mega. That is exactly what it was. And then I'm gonna get rid of you. Hopefully get rid of this this one and as well. Anytime I can take out an archer is gonna be high priority, and then we can we can fall back pretty far. I can't believe I got poisoned though. That's not good for business. Yeah. Antonin is gonna have some real damage dealing capabilities uh, later later down the road, but for now, not we're not quite there. And then you, yeah, you're fine. I thought that guy was dead. I thought I found all the, uh, I thought I found all the the character, all the uh, archers, and killed them. Go figure. Let's see. So we'll get rid of this guy just to make our propagate a little more uh, more useful. This costs three right now, so I'm just going to drop that because, well, it's expected return on value was higher than that, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, 
And then mostly as many as many kills as I can get on Antonin, I think is where it's at. Because I think we're gonna have we're gonna have too much mana, and Harvester is gonna proc too much for uh, for us. Now over here. Uh, still weird tooltip issues, for sure. So five actions left, eh? That feels pretty, uh, pretty generous. And then I have two momentums for these two, but then I don't get out again. So I don't think I can do it. I think I just have to... Do a bit of a hit and run there, and then... This Misty guy is really giving me some heartburn. Uh... disappointing. <laughs> Don't know what I expected, but... Archers have, have just a surprisingly long range. I think that's the... Uh, that's the lesson here. Now the question is, can Antonin finish this off on their own? I kind of feel like not really. Oh, I mega. It took me a long time. Uh, the the current meta progression system, which may or may not uh, stand moving forward, is uh, is very very onerous and takes a lot of time to uh, to complete. So. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to reinforce over this way. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to let Antonin finish this off. I think it's fine. I do love me a two-handed axe, for sure. Oh, I'm happy about it. Like to to be perfectly honest, uh, I Doctor Death, if if in the process of them wiping it, they also uh, improve it, so it's more fun. I'm I'm in. Like that that will make me very happy. Uh, the the problem is is if if they reimplement it and it's like similar to how it is now, that'll be a, that'll be a different story. But, but as it stands, I'm super excited for the potential that, uh, and I think, ah, uh, we can't move you over. Okay. Yeah, I'm super excited for the prospect that we may have, uh, we may have new fun to, uh, new fun to be had and that the new progression system may be more satisfying. Uh, specifically, if, if I were to describe my, my, like, biggest complaint, about uh, about the current meta progression system, I think it's just that there was a lot of power locked behind uh, behind the meta progression system, right? Like there were a fair number of situations where it was like, oh yeah, the only way you could ever beat Glenwall Apocalypse Five is by having full unlocks, and I, I generally don't like that as a design choice. Wow. That miss was uh was unexpected. Let's see, I think I think I'm gonna do that and then Difficult decisions to be had here. Uh 
I'm trying to I'm trying to conserve momentum. That's my uh I think I spent way too much to get that one momentum hit in, but that's okay. We live and we learn. Okay, now you're coming over here to clean this up. But yeah, I, I much prefer I much prefer when games lock complexity behind meta progression, not uh not power. I, I would like to approach the game and be like, well, I'm significantly better at the game now, and because I am better at the game, I can, you know, I can beat things that previously I couldn't because my game knowledge is increased, right? That's kind of like, that's the dream. Yeah, I, I mean, if, if the meta progression system is bad after, there's... Uh, there's going to be a lot of tough questions I need to answer. But I will say that without fail, I think that the developers have been really smart about improvements. Things like the new uh, the new and improved uh, damage rework, like that was that was very smart. Like I, I think that the the decisions that they made were very very. This, this freaking archer right here is giving me endless heartburn. Uh, let's see. Please just go away. You're an archer. You're an archer. I don't care too much about the non-archers. This guy's an archer, though. Uh, that would be fun too, for sure. Uh, for sure, Doctor Death. I love the idea of there there being other other ways in which you you kind of like grow your uh, your strength. Um, I I guess I just found that like the the game felt it kind of felt like you weren't where you weren't where you needed to be. Uh, as early as you probably should have been, if that makes sense. Like, like I found that I was anxious to get access to certain items, etc., before I got access to them. I don't really like where I left uh, Xena here. Well, I guess it's that's good news because I don't have to be stuck there. Uh, all right. There we go. And then nobody's coming in, so this is all fine. You still have actions, so we'll tear this person down. Yeah, quests quests would be really interesting. Have they have they communicated any of their ideas for how they want to handle it? I haven't uh, I haven't been checking Ishtar's subreddit too actively. We definitely took a bit of a walloping on this night. More than I was expecting. So, okay, so if I were if I were building the meta progression system, uh, the things that I think I would I would focus on primarily is and this is not what they have said i i have read nothing about what they what they are planning uh so i don't want to i don't want to give the impression that i have any type of inside information but i think that let's see let's push back i think it's time to get some houses built sorry i get i get distracted it's hard to uh hard to play and also handle things but we always want to upgrade. If we want an extra worker, it's always better to go that direction. And we're getting 28 gold back. That's not bad. Yeah, I think it's I think it's time to get houses fully built out. So let's grab this one. Do that. We can tear down this ruin. Yeah, and we're floating at a decent amount of gold. 
This is going to be when production is going to need to pop off, though. I think we have a lot of people that are pantsless, so that's probably where I'm going to spend my rerolls. Steel sword would normally be pretty interesting. The woolen pants are decent. Honestly, the worn pants with accuracy on them might be better, though, but I think I'm going to reroll the knight reward as well. I was just thinking warp crystals would be really nice for this map. I have this vision of creating a dagger, uh, getting a dagger on our on our poisonous character, and this would be such a good offhand with a dagger. That fur armor is really nice too, though. I think this is a reroll. Some momentum and accuracy isn't bad. Plus one movement with resistance or... Eh, I'll grab this pair of pants, I guess. Actually, the heavy armor with momentum is pretty nice. Sure. Let's let's get a little more let's get a little more durable on our person out in the field, and then I am gonna pick up this warp crystal. But we'll see. Uh, it's not gonna be easy to make that work, I don't think. I wouldn't mind picking up a health potion uh, as well. Let's see. So you you get that for an upgrade. The opportunism might as well go here. And then we can sell that. And then for now, I guess the warp crystal is probably best off on Xena. We don't quite have the mana to drive it though. Let's see, what are we what are we buying? I'm tempted to do the first production upgrade. But we don't have very many production buildings, and we need more stuff. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go with our second armor smith. And then at the moment, the mage shop would be the the magic shop would seem like the the pick. Um And then we have a little bit of money to get a second weapon on, on you. That's a, that's a cool idea, uh, Joe KY. I really like it, by the way. Maybe just a health? No, we need... We're one gold off from a significantly better. Well, no, it's level it's level one, so it's not significantly better. So we'll just do that. Well, actually, let's swap that for Zaniel and then put that there. So at least you have a second one. There we go. I think this team is still decent. And I really wish we had the ability for Henry to get a little bit of a uh, little bit of love, but let's do our level ups here. So isolation is where I wanted to go. Well, with Antonin, I guess. Let's start there, actually. Yeah, more accuracy is an easy pickup, and then. One by one will give us some scaling damage for taking out big, big enemies. A little resistance reduction will, will help, I think. And then these are all kind of garbage.
I like third eye here. I also like steady aim. I think steady aim we can do a lot with. The extra accuracy is going to help us for sure. That dodge is not very large. Fine. I'm going to take it. We're definitely still going for this uh, this dodge build. We'll see if uh, if that pans out appropriately, but Toxic Leech is going to help a bit with, with sustainability, as will Vampirism. Although, we do want Epidemic, we do want Flexibility. We have a lot of things we want on Xena. It's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out. That's too much experience, I feel like. I was looking for poison, as always. Gosh. Not not the selection we wanted there, for sure. Let's get Contagion going. All right, so. One, two, three. Let's get some ballistas up. They help to clear the walls off, provide a little bit of support. And I think that's going to be about it. We got we got some of our economy going. We've got some stuff. We're going to have to upgrade. Uh, and I think I think I want to go to second ones here. Yeah, that looks good. All right, let's uh let's see how this next night goes. They're coming. Freaking archers again. God dang. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, this is already the, the part where we scale up like that. That's terrifying. I don't like seeing archers, though, because you kind of have to get into the thick of things to, uh, to survive, so. I always hate rolling the dice on a lightning bolt like this. Can I clean it up much? I'd have to kill all three of these. No, not really. I don't think so. Wow, that was... Extremely underwhelming. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, Dr. Death. We we beat Apocalypse 6 on uh, on Gildenberg, and we've played around with it a bit on uh, on Lakeburg. Uh, yet, to, yet to get the W, uh, but only because I killed our, our first Lakeburg Apocalypse 6 run uh, when this patch dropped. So... We'll be back to it soon enough, uh, for sure. This is an awkward corner. All right, let's get... Soulbound Mage. Does the Mage actually have an attack? It does. All right, we may have to, we may have to think about some things with that. Uh... I think that was that was the best we could do, and then I guess I'm just gonna have to have Henry come up here. But that's a little bit awkward, and then Yeah. Might as well. It's it's solid, uh solid Doctor Death. I think I think probably if I were playing uh off stream, I would uh, I would make a little more progress, but I only play once a week, uh, so I've been kind of taking my time and enjoying it and smelling the roses. But that's a uh, that's a heck of an accomplishment. Well done. Oh, I forgot there's a freaking lake right there. 
this lake is going to make it hard for uh, for Zaniel to get where they need to get. Uh, and this guy's already starting to cause trouble, so... Frustrating. All right, let's see. Can you even... You can make it here. All right, so we're just going to have to... Get rid of you. And then... When we have... Does this lightning bolt even get kills? I guess, I mean, it's... I, I remembered lightning being a lot stronger, uh, if I'm being honest. Yeah, so I've never, I've never restarted a run, uh, Doctor. I, uh, I have only, I have only played to completion, uh, every run that I have started, which, it's not, I don't, I don't have, hold any, uh, any ill will or, you know, or whatever to people who, who restart. It's just a, it's a line I drew in the sand for myself because I wanted to uh, make sure that I was uh, producing good runs. Let's see. I'm worried that I'm going to get turned into a pin cushion here. Uh... All right, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't get too bad. And then over here, I think. If I step over one more, oh, wow. Wait, where's all my movement right now? I have two pieces. I'm only at seven movement on this character. That's something I probably need to rectify. Hey, Stefan, thank you for joining and welcome. Uh, it is so good to have you, of course. I think we're gonna have to spend full movement here. Uh, let's see, with one action, let's just knock these three out and then run back. So there's that. So we got that going for us. I wonder if the mage is gonna come after me. I wonder if the mage is going to hit the wall. Okay, yeah, the mage is going to continue hitting the wall. This is looking a little bad. I'm probably going to actually do three over here uh, after I get this sorted out. Goodbye. But yeah, that's, that's going to take a moment for sure. Like, I don't even think we're going to get here in time, but we'll see. All right, isolate it away. Now we're at plus twelve damage, which I don't, I don't suspect is enough to do much of anything. Uh, I guess we just do that. Yeah, I think, I think my belief that lightning was any good was actually totally unfounded. Uh, seems pretty awful, if I'm being honest. back up like this all right and then hopefully we don't get we don't get peppered too hard here I think good old sword blast how much movement do I have I'll get this guy on the way out Two action points left. I think I can afford to do that. And then move to there. Alright, you're you're stuck in the middle of nowhere. And those ballistas are doing work for us is not a statement that I would use to describe what's currently going on. This is uh this is a rough one though. For sure. I 
And then the fighting retreat will continue over here. I think I'm better off moving to here. Uh, this guy's still going to be able to get us. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm not sure, uh, Jokewa, what exactly has changed, but at least in the current builds that I have, maybe I'm not emphasizing uh, propagation enough. I'm just noticing that it's it's not uh, particularly impressive. I think I got to get rid of this mist sensor. Oh, three actions to get rid of that. That feels really unfortunate. I, there's something super satisfying about Epidemic uh, and the way that it it propagates. I wish that the contagion spread to uh, spread to enemies that already had contagion. Like contagion wasn't a blocking factor. Uh, not dead, eh? Let's see, any pesky, yeah. All right, I think it's I think it's time for us to hide behind the walls and uh, and hope that next turn Henry showing up is gonna be uh, is gonna be just what the doctor ordered. Henry's also gonna take a lot of uh, of negative. Yeah, but I I haven't I was using the one that's tier two, Jokewa which is the highest that we currently have access to uh, and getting similar uh, similar results. All right, line them up, knock them down, I guess. Let's get, let's get you over. Now, for, for Henry's sake, we just need to find good targets and get uh, <laughs> get as many kills in as possible because we have uh, we have not done Henry any favors by having them out of commission for the last who knows how long. Only three heroes. Wow, that's uh, that's kind of insane, uh, Doctor Doctor Death. I can't, or excuse me, I Mega. I I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. Oh yeah, I mean, I I like Tome. I am uh, I am pro Tome for sure. Uh, let's see. I think you need to get iced and. Let's see, who else still has actions? All right, let's get rid of you. Oh yeah, are these indestructible now? They are. What an incredible, incredible windfall. Wow, you get two death rays per turn too. That's kind of sick. Not a, not a skill I use too frequently, but... Probably should have taken out the... Uh the archer that's there, and then I guess we'll just tuck everybody away, and now what is the plan here? Wait, am I out of movement already? Jeez. Let's see how this one shows up. This is big. Big image. Nice, Imega. The archivist. Let's see. I think. I think I just need. I need the running away stuff at the moment. This side's gonna probably get worse before it gets better. We're at plus 22. 
Let's, uh, let's not... Let's give ourselves a little bit of extra space so that hopefully we don't lose an action point. I think we're still going to lose an action point, looking at it. I, I couldn't see the Roman numeral. That was Apocalypse 6, Imega. Very impressive. Yeah, so I, I that has been that has been part of my uh, part of my plan uh, for even just this run, which is uh, you know not the not the most impressive run by any means, but uh, with four AP. I think we just move to there and do that. Yeah, so the the indestructible is quite an interesting, uh, quite an interesting development. Uh, I missed it in the patch notes, among other things. Those are all not dying minus one that we can use uh, epidemic on, so I think that's good for business. Let's see. I'm just trying to put as much damage downrange as possible at the moment. Yes. Maximum of six is indeed the new uh, the new normal for uh, for warp gates. So you can't you can't spam them absolutely everywhere. But uh, I it is. I mean, the issue that I always had with warp gates was like one runner would get by and it would destroy your warp gate, and they were so expensive. So I think this is a uh, this is a big uh, a big improvement. Let's see. So we man. Is just in the way. Okay, back in you go, and then let's get rid of this guy. Now we need to play the most difficult, dangerous game, which is find the archers. Uh, I probably should have. Uh, I probably should have just done a death ray. There's a. There's a good line up here. Okay, everybody, hide back behind. Getting a little, little inundated. Uh, but the dodge is doing work. Like archers would be tearing this thing up. Uh, so what a what a difference that makes all by itself. Oh yeah, I, I can only imagine, uh, Doctor Death. I uh, I'm not looking forward to next. We'll do next week. We'll do APOC, uh, APOC five, assuming we uh, assuming we survive this one, uh, which it is my intention to. But you know, there's uh, sometimes the gods can be unkind, so we will uh, we will have to wait and see. But. But assuming we assuming we get there, that will be uh, that will be our plan. And yeah, at APOC five, I think we're we're going to be leaning on the walls a lot more heavily. Is uh, is what I will say on that one. Try and take this hopper out just to create some isolated targets. Side note: there were just a surprisingly large number of. Oh, yeah, I wasn't the guy that I thought I was looking at the health bar of. Surprisingly large number of these uh, floating apparition jerks.
Don't really have a good death ray opportunity here. See, there's a temptation to do lightning. This is the bad lightning, though. So... We don't get we don't get the instant kill off of that one. Uh, we can't retreat properly if we go there. That's pretty good. This guy's gonna poke our wall, which I don't like, but. see with only one movement left i think we just keep keep pushing back but quite the mess we've got going on here i might actually use my catapult too stealing my mana i i will say the uh Kind of wish the walls had protected me a bit more, but actually, we don't. We probably don't need to move you at all. Let's start there. Some weapons. I mean, yeah. So, so definitely, like I, I do not particularly like the. Uh, the rifle. I think it's still it's still not great. Still has a lot to be still leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, power staff is uh, is another one that I'm not uh, not the biggest fan of for sure. But but I, I think it's it's a lot better than it used to be. That's for sure. Okay, let's See what we can do here. Gosh, that's on those guys just have a lot of hit points. That's the That's all I have to say on that front. Yes, the one-handed hammer is also uh, not great. I I keep feeling like I'm missing something with the one-handed hammer. <laughs> um I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but there's like, there's just something about it where I'm like, it can't be this bad. But like, it's little stun thing is just not very, uh, not very good. Gosh, we are, we are hurting on mana even with Harvester here. Uh, Gosh, and that's that's everybody's turn. Ooh. All right, I'm just gonna lean on the catapult to kill this little cadre. Wow, that guy that guy proved uh, more durable than expected. That's a good point. Uh, well, Gotti. It's uh, there definitely is something to be said for the fact that it has opportunism. It doesn't have a great way to enable opportunism, in my experience. Like it, it has it has the ability to leverage opportunism, but that's about uh, that's about what you're gonna get out of it. And then, all right, we're gonna take a little bit of a hit on the walls. Uh, I don't think we're gonna lose our our S rank here, but. Only time. We're getting closer than I would like to be. And we spent a staggering amount of mana this turn. How are you alive? I don't like it.
run away, hope that the hopper can't get in range. And then Henry earned every bit of XP that we can get him. Oh, slow traps. That's an interesting that's an interesting concept. Using slow traps to uh to enable opportunism. I think it's hard it's hard to predict though. That's I think the I think that's the thing that I would be concerned about. get you out of the way this way and then moving to here we can probably clean this up i i find them really hard to to take advantage of i i can count on one hand the number of runs that i've had that have been enabled by or significantly improved by traps um so I'm not I'm not advocating for that idea. I think it's an interesting one, but not necessarily not necessarily the uh, the play, as it were. Come on now. Okay, last kill goes to you. I'm taking a few notes on uh, on improvements. Um, border X width. Um, there we go. A few notes on changes I want to make to the uh, to the experience. Okay, so now we've got some production buildings going, which is great. Reinforced shield with almost 50% healing received. Holy cow. Oh yeah, you absolutely can, uh, Dr. Death. In fact, I think my first ever Apocalypse 5 win on Lakeburg way, way back in early access before uh, before the rework of the map and a million other things, that was, uh, that was my go-to strategy on for my first wins. And, you know, over time I was like, it's... Not the most fun strategy. It's a little frustrating. Uh, so, so with that, I, I started moving away from that because trap spam just feels uh, trap spams. Trap spam feels bad, and the alternative like d feels ineffective. So let's see. Let's see what we're getting out of this. Those armored boots with accuracy on them are pretty interesting. The fur pants are decent. I might grab those fur pants. They're not bad. Okay, we're trying to we're trying to upgrade a novice tome, so I don't think that's it. I'm gonna roll this one again. Did uh did Antonin where are you, Antonin? Not a poison user, so Really don't want to go for that poison staff. I think just another novice's tome is good enough for now. Those are really bad fur pants for being legendary. I honestly like these these armored boots more. I'm gonna grab those. We do just need some pants. Uh, that shield is nice. Yeah, sure, I'll grab that shield, and then... Uh, am I feeling shieldy? Maybe I'm feeling shieldy. There we go. All right, so step one is definitely... That's a non-negotiable. we got to start getting our production going. Now, gear-wise, that's an upgrade that gets sold. The armored boots can replace that, and then... 
for now, the warp crystal doesn't have to be here, and that's a pretty good shield for you. Hmm, I was thinking that you would use this. I forgot that the tome is a two-hander. That can go there for now. And we'll sit on the shield, because the opportunism is good, so I want to get that eventually. Holy smokes. That's a nice short bow. I think, uh, I think we want to get more production going. I think that will benefit us more. Which one curves this way? <laughs> uh, riddles, riddle of the Sphinx, as it were. Now, this is, I want to get these mine upgrades. So we're going to commit three workers to the mines. Because these are these are a net positive for gold and uh, and a good worker sink when we have surplus workers. Ah, uh, they've they've been going okay, Garrett. We we took we took a little bit of panic. Uh, not we didn't drop out of S tier, but uh, we took a little bit of wall damage. And uh, the last night was a little harder than I think I expected it to be. But we're starting to get our economy cooking. Maybe an early alchemist is the play. Squeeze it in here. What are, we have four workers left. We've gotten all our two ruins. Let's get our, our one ruins out of the way just so I can see where we have building space. The reason I'm leaning towards the alchemist is having potions would be, is always good. We can always find a use for them. And then I want the bower. Kind of scoot it in here. There we go. We're going very heavy uh, economy this this round. Uh, and we are getting it from three directions, which is going to be a little spicy. But I think Henry can Henry can solo a direction pretty effectively. Although if we get bad spirits, that could be that could be tricky. I think this is the turn where I'll get the warp gate for this side, just in case we need it for transfer. And then I'm going to do uh, guess where. I just want to see, is it all weak waves? It is all weak waves. Okay, so I'm going to put Antonin on this side, Zaniel on this side, and then Xena is going to solo over here, I think. And then we have one worker left and 36 gold. 36 gold is almost 40 gold, which could, we could use help bower uh, there. But I think probably I'll just pick up something in here. Some little improvement. Is there a good pair of pants? Good pair of cheap pants? How many people are not wearing pants at the moment? You're, you're pantsed. Antonin has no pants and Henry has no pants. All right. We could get both of them some pants. I think that's a good idea. Henry's mana has seen better days, and then we don't have a spot for a shield for the moment. Okay. All right, level ups. Henry just... He's not been not been bringing the pain on uh, on level ups. All right, let's. Uh, our accuracy's already at twenty two. Where is that accuracy coming from? Okay, perks and then oh, but the perk is is steady aim, which will go away. So that twenty two is a bit of an illusion. Uh, so I will take, I will take the, the accuracy increase. I don't want to be missing shots. And then we didn't pick up that much crit here. So I'll roll that once. All right, we'll still go crit power. We could go bully. I don't, I don't think I love the idea of bully here. 
Lone Wolf is a pretty good one for this map. We're going to have a lot of times when we're out on our own. All right, so you are our momentum friend. And then we're looking for dodge if we can get it. Okay, we cannot. And then epidemic we like, but only once we can kind of like get ourselves in there a little more. Gosh, you've done such a bad job getting our armor going, or our, uh, our health going. Maybe we just go organic armor? Hey, Dr. Death, thanks for swinging by. Have a good one. Hope to see you around again, and good luck with your APOC 6 runs. Please uh, let me know if you uh, if you manage to you manage to crest that mountain. Take the poison, and accuracy is looking pretty good. All right, big damage is good. And then... What are we going to pick up over here? I think when in doubt, we, we ballista the humans. Accuracy is looking okay, not great. So we'll grab that, and then... 30% crit power is, is a little too hard to say no to. Especially since we can get a really nice bump to crit right now. Okay, level ups are done. We have we have one worker. Looks like we will we will be stuck with one worker. Cause I don't see any more ruins. Our base is significantly more compact than it was last time. Yeah, so that last worker is not getting utilized. And then we do have materials, so I think a second, second one of those there for protection. Nothing's coming from this side. You're going to be good. You're going to be good. You're going to be maybe good. I'm going to move you one more forward. And then Put one on the corner there. Okay. Exactly where we needed to end up. And uh, I think we're ready to go into the next night. I'm gonna cheat you a little more forward, I think. Okay. Here goes nothing. I know, one worker remains.